in my Korean language instead for the next days especially that I will be having my upcoming exam topic exam and CLAT exam next week please pray for me to pass the exam and I hope I will do better and I hope that I will be able to review things it's been hard for me you know Korean language have been very difficult for me especially that we've been using um, online classes we've been doing online classes for a while already really for me I see the you, you, you can see the advantages and the disadvantages of using online classes, doing online classes, especially if you are a student. If you want to learn more things, really there's a big uh, difference between online classes and face-to-face -face classes. And based on the survey that I asked the teachers and the students, they usually still consider face-to-face -face as the best way to learn things from the university or from in in the school now let's discuss the students opinions on the advantages and the disadvantages of online classes during the COVID-19 pandemic so for the advantages I have here a friend he said that bentahe para sa akin as a student merong bentahe and what's the bentahe Flexibility. Students have the freedom to juggle their careers and school because they aren't tired down to a fixed schedule. Although this is correct, they are not tied down to a specific schedule but juggle down their careers. Do they have other careers aside from being students? Or maybe they have other jobs or work or whatever. But the point here is they are not actually being tied down to a fixed schedule and that's right reduce cost i don't know how it will be reduced but he's saying that online education can cost less due to the variety of reasons and when you talk about the online learning this is an alternative we talk about we're talking about the alternative online learning during this time of pandemic the covid 19 pandemic now we also have of course advantages allows the students to easily ad access reference materials on the course provided by the teacher which is true because you know what the teacher should be giving materials reading materials additional resources online classes is not just giving the students your quizzes it's teaching the students and in that case you should be doing your part as a teacher um, we could define specifically what online class is because others I, I don't know but it seems that for me others don't really exactly know what online class is and then we have advantage para sa akin syempre as a student hindi na ako pupunta pa ng school rather bibiyahe or gagastos ng pamasahe lalo na wala namang vaccine wala namang vaccine delikado ang estudyante which is true that's for their safety and mga estudyante ay may pagkakataon na mag-aral sa kanilang sariling oras at lalo na sa kanilang free time which is also true Online classes have the flexibility in terms of where, when, and how they're going to study. Karamihan naman ng mga mag-aaral ay may gadget at internet connection, which I hope is true. Kung iisipin mo ang gastos, pareho lang din sa baon at pamasay sa online class naman, load para sa, kung, para sa data kung walang wifi. Well, I guess he has a point, yes. But what if your dormitory is just too close to the university? Or what if in your area, especially back in the Philippines, 
eh wala talagang internet connection. Well, that's one question. I, I but I hope uh, all places back in the Philippines actually have available internet connection. Kung iisipin mo ang gastos, parehas lang din, yes. Stay home, online class, ligtas sa COVID. That's right. More information yung maa-access ng mga students since they are now using internet while having a discussion. Mas ma -e encourage din sila to study in advance. The disadvantage includes online student feedback is limited. Yes, because you know, other teachers are not asking them. But I'm, I'm telling you, if it's an online class, there should be questions to make or enable the students to interact during the online class. E-learning can cause social isolation. That's so true. Even the teachers don't like that. Learning requires self motivation and time management skills yes that's also true especially that you were saying that you actually have your own uh flexible time or you in in online classes you have more flexibility in terms of where and when and how you're going to st to study we also have lack of communicational skills development in online students i agree another disadvantage is the equity and accessibility to technology not all have access to internet as well as not have the necessary gadgets this poses additional costs to students and or families lack of environment conducive to learning at home and the effectiveness on the online lectures that's right even if you wanted to learn a lot of things using the online uh, classes there should be a convenient place to do online classes you cannot just do it on the side of the road on your roof in your neighbor's house it's it's not good you know there should be a specific place a conducive place where you're going to study using online classes and then of course lack of environment conducive yes lack of environment conducive to learning at home and the effectiveness of the online le lectures that's right other facilitator may just upload their powerpoints references etc without really teaching the students that's actually what i've been telling you online teaching online learning online classes we we should know these things like we're not there to just give them the reading materials we are going to discuss at least discuss of course the content of the topic and we are not just going to give them exams even without you know teaching them and in in that case i hope that teachers are there to assist the students this is to actually make learning very effective and efficient to that of the students and then of course we have computer literacy for both students and teachers is also an issue yes other students don't know how to use the computers back in the Philippines teachers although they have the access to all the materials the gadgets they have internet they have the gadgets it's just that they don't have the time they don't have the uh, urge to really learn new things and, and this really poses a problem to both the students and at the same time that of the learners 
than the teachers and that of the learners. And then of course, for me, wala pong advantage kasi puro disadvantage kasi hindi lahat ng studyante may gadgets, kawawa naman yung bata. But the point here is, I hope that we learn from this and next time when we do activities, learning classes in the near future, I hope that we know how to do it well by learning from our mistakes. And then of course we have, not all students have the gadgets to use for online classes, that's right. Disadvantage, hindi lahat ng students may gadgets, lahat, hindi lahat ng lugar malakas ang signal sa paaralan na tututo ng mga katulad kong student kung paano makipagkaibigan, maging mapagpasensya, mapupuksa ang pagkapiko at lalo na upang makapag, makipagkompetensya. Well, I, I hope it's a friendly competition. We, I usually tell my friends, my students back then that when you go to the university, you should not compete anymore. You should remove the idea of competing with your classmates. Because you know what? If you are going to pull each other, you will all go up. But if you are going to compete with the other, it would be very difficult for you to get to the top. Especially that back in the Philippines, crab mentality still persists. So, I, I hope it's a friendly competition. And then, of course, we have as to its disadvantages. Online learning as a mode will be of great challenge, especially to those learner, learners who have lack of gadgets like smartphones and internet connectivity where online learning will take place. Mas convenient po yung pag-aaral kasi sa bahay lang at magiging aware sa time yung mga students. That's actually very true. Now, for me to, to well, to conclude this part, most of the, the students were, the, the online class was actually implemented to ensure the safety of the students. And in that case, we have to really, um, follow what the government is saying that we can use or we should really use online classes as an alternative learning to that of the face-to-face -face, um, type of teaching technique. Now, the point here is we have advantages and disadvantages and it seems that in, in the answers that they gave me, I realize that students oh my god i i realize that both teachers and at the same time the students back in the philippines have this connection like a family connection that they really wanted to go to the school to meet each other there is also uh, the disadvantage is the gadget availability of gadget and the internet and i hope that this will be addressed very soon back in the philippines and well i hope if you have comments on the disadvantages and the advantages of learning online learning this COVID-19 or during the COVID-19 pandemic, you can comment down below and we'll see if we can have a good interaction. I hope that uh, we can learn from each other. And that's it. Thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.